say we have a blog, and we notice that whenever we refresh our page, it takes a little while to load. And if you look in the logs, you can see where we're loading each blog, but we're using the act as tackable gem, and you can see that it's creating a M plus one query. While this may not cause a problem on smaller applications, as your application grows and gets larger, it could become a performance issue. M plus one can be a feature if you're using the proper caching. However, if you are not, then this could be a performance impact. So today we're going to look at the Jim Goldie loader, which can sniff out and automatically detect when it should eager load. And instead of creating the M plus one queries, it'll just create a separate query, including all the necessary records. And this gem is pretty much as simple as drop it into your application and it automatically will start doing the eager loading. I've added Goldie Loader to a few production applications and I have seen positive results in performance. All the tests still seem to pass, even those with caching and Russian doll caching, so definitely check this gem out. You will want to check out the limitations on Goldie Loader. However, even if your application has some of these limitations, Goldie Loader will fall back to the original way of querying those records. So to get started, add Goldie Litter to your gem file. Be sure to run Bundle and restart your Rails application. And while this should be the only change that you have to make, I did notice that with the Act as Tackable gem, we did have to make an additional change. So here we have our lists of tags that we're looping through, and then we're just wrapping them in a badge. However, with the Act as Tackable gem, I did have to modify this row in order to properly eager load. So on our blog, I had to call the tags, which is just an attribute with a string, and loop through each one of them. And the Act as Tackable gem will just return a active record collection of all the tags, and this will allow the eager loading. So going back to our blog and refreshing, you'll now see that we are eager loading the tags and it's creating much less queries and it's going to run faster if your application is doing several of these and plus one queries in a single view. And if you want to slowly introduce this into your application, or if you have a certain type of association that doesn't work well, then you can create an initializer file and you can add in the default auto include to false. Or if you want to just do it for a specific type of associations, then you can pass in, for example, the has many through association and then call the default auto include to false. So if you set Goldie Loader to not auto include by default, you can call auto include true for the association. However, by default, this will automatically be included. You can also set this to false if you do not want this particular one to be auto included in the eager loading. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.